Welcome back to Switch to Linux. So as you can see, we are on Ubuntu and we are on Ubuntu 17.04. And uh, my details page actually tells me that now. So um, I had downloaded this. This is actually installed on a USB drive. So it is uh, installed directly on the computer. And, um, you know, this is, uh, for me, in, in many ways, uh, uh, a way that's a good way to test a distro without using a virtual box. The downside is you got to get some way of, of uh, setting up your, um, your recording such and whatnot. So uh, today I'm using simple screen recorder just to record the screen and a GUVC view in order to put the camera on there. And so um, what we're going to do is just a, a brief walkthrough, um, a brief summary, and I'll summarize this again near the end. Um, should we upgrade to 17.04? Mm, no, I don't think so. I don't think it brings really anything significant. If you want to use Ubuntu, stay on 16.04. At least uh, you won't be upgrading out of Unity and into something else uh, on the next release cycle. And uh, that is, uh, you know, something to to consider. Uh, Sixteen point oh four is is just fine. I have not yet noted any major differences uh, above this, other than I still think sixteen point oh four is even more stable than this. When I first turned on the computer today, I I did get the couple errors. You know, something went wrong. And of course, I sent those error reports to Canonical so they can figure it out. The other thing I'm noticing right now is my links at the top up here are not working. Um, and that, that I've seen that occur in the beta as well. I thought they were working earlier unless I was mistaken, but um, uh, we are... Uh, uh, I'm not seeing anything major significant here as to why you should switch. So let's have a look at the uh, release notes just to uh, just to highlight that. So again, 17.04 will be supported for nine months, and of course, since Ubuntu is dropping Unity, then it would if you're still running 17.04, you'd get the 17.10, and then you'd go to 18.04, and your entire Unity would go away. And I have no idea what that's going to look like. Um, that might very well be the Ubuntu version of Windows 7 to Windows 8. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm not sure what is the correlation of people who really like Ubuntu or uh, really like Unity versus really like GNOME. I can't stand GNOME. Um, and that's a matter of a personal preference. Uh, there's reasons I don't like it. Um, Unity, um, Unity is not my favorite for sure, but uh, there are a lot of applications I like for it. And uh, I don't really have any issues with, with uh, Unity. I, I like it for my media management. I like it for AWS servers. Anything where I need to do a lot of terminal work, I really like, uh, like Unity for. Other than that, I'm not a huge, huge fan. All right, um, so that gives you instructions there on how you can update uh, for some changes. Um, let's see, 32-bit um, PowerPC support is dropped, so you can read more about that. Um, with the networking, the DNS resolver is now system D resolved. And the biggest one I think that's been talked about the most is the swap. Uh, the swap partition is no longer being set up on computers that are a new install. So you're using a swap file instead of a swap partition. So if I go up into my uh, disks up here, then uh, you'll see that your, uh, your disk now is not you know, spliced up into a lot of different partitions. We have one partition. There's a swap file on the computer to handle your swapping, rather than um, uh, rather than having that separate system. We're also using uh, uh, Linux kernel 4.10, and I have Kitty Cat 2.0 right here. All right, yeah. Use Unity, people. It works. Oh wait, hold on. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, no, no. <laughs> All right. Um, Driverless printing, this is neat. Uh, we now support printers, which allow printing without printer-specific drivers. Printers are IPP everywhere and Apple AirPrint printers. 
um, some PDF, PostScript, PCL printers work. Uh, basically, they're trying to get printers more streamlined. I know some printers on Linux work very well. Uh, some printers on Linux are kind of a pain to work with. Um, and so um, with that, I think that... Um, uh, I think that uh, uh, it's good that they're making a lot of steps towards that. So, come on. Come on, kitty. oh, I got the cuteness. I got the cuteness. Uh, we're distracted with the kitty. <laughs> All right. Um, I did find that installing my particular printers, this is very easy. I'll show you how I do that. Um, so Unity Desktop, um, or Ubuntu Desktop. We do have uh, LibreOffice 5.3, finally. Um, and I really like the, the icon packs, uh, it's just the, I don't know if this is the GNOME or the Oxygen icon packs, I forget which icon pack this is, but this is the one that I like the most, it's just nice and shiny and sparkly, looks good. Um, of course this is the version of LibreOffice that, uh, I believe I've been using for a little while on my other computers, and so, uh, with that, um, uh, with that it was, uh, uh, good to see that updated. Um, apps provided by GNOME have been updated to 3.24, except Nautilus, uh, Terminal, Evolution, really? Is Evolution in here? Well, Evolution's not on the computer, but uh, if you were to install Evolution, you'd get, um, you'd get 3.22, um, and the software is also 3.22. Let's go ahead and have a look at Evolution. Let's, uh, we're going to look at software. Here's your Ubuntu software, and let's look at Evolution. Okay, let's go ahead and install that. I want to see what that looks like. Then I'll have to double check which uh, version of Evolution I have on my um, uh, on my uh, Linux Mint computer. I guess I'd have to walk through that to, to see it. Okay, well, we'll look at that later. Um, the calendar app now has a week view, so if you come up into your calendar, um, you can look at, um, up here, you can look at your week, you can look at your month, or you can look at your year. I've never actually used this app, so I'm not sure if that was something that was like a serious groundbreaker thing. Um, Gconfig is no longer installed by default since it has uh, long been supported by G uh, setting or superseded by G settings. Um, so let's have a look at G settings. Okay, I guess I can't find it there. Oh well. Um, okay, of course they're noting if you have preferences set for the uh, card game that is installed, you will have to uh, reset those. Then, of course, you can uh, log out of the Unity 7 and log into Unity 8. So, um, Unity 8, uh, I'm, I can't show you the video here because the screen recording does not work and, you know, I'm not running this in a virtual box or anything. It does work better than I thought it would, but it's still not anywhere near usable. And, and I have my own little tinfoil conspiracy. Um, let's see, I don't have my tinfoil hat, so what if I grab my tinfoil cat instead? So there we go. I got my tinfoil cat on my head, and I think that my conspiracy is they spent so much time. <laughs> Kitty doesn't like that. They spent so much time um, on trying to get Unity 8 to work, and they just couldn't get it to work, and they decided to just kind of drop it. But at the same time, they're like, uh, "We don't have anything more significant in Unity 7 or in Unity 7 or Ubuntu 17, for all that matter." I have a little conspiracy theory about that. I haven't heard anything about it one way or the other, but I really think that that's kind of what's uh, part of in part of what's going on is that the um, uh, the uh, um, they just couldn't get the Unity working, but they spent so much focus on that they just kind of decided to drop it and release this. And and this to me uh, is not a significant release at all. Um, I think that this is probably the most insignificant Ubuntu release ever, um, as far as what I can see. Um, I have not tested anything like wireless networking. I'm not sure how that works. Um, it's communicating just fine on wired networking, though, so that's good. Um, 
Everything else, um, out of the box, it's, uh, this is something that's bothering me with Ubuntu. Every new version, they delete the old wallpapers and give you a whole set of new ones. And I know that that happened, um, that happened when I was, um, uh, when I, I had my old Ubuntu computer set up. I loved the background I had, and in the update, it erased my old backgrounds. I'm like, what? And they had to find new ones. And the downside is, on these, there is nothing in these new backgrounds that I like. Usually I can find at least one background. Like, this is pretty cool, but I'm not inclined to have a background like this on my desktop. Um, this one might be one that I... I mean, I'd use that maybe on Peppermint, but not here. Uh, but a lot of the nature-y type ones. Um, but... Nothing that is anything close to what I would like. Um, this one here, I hear, causes damage to the physical damage to the screen. If your cat sees that mouse, you're done. Your screen's done. Done for. All right. Um, so really, there's there's nothing super significant about this uh, release. Um, I really, I, I personally believe that they spent all their time trying to get Unity 8 to work, and they couldn't get Unity 8 to work, and so it's just like, well, let's just do it with Unity entirely. I have a conspiracy theory, that's what it's about. Um, not that I think that's a bad thing. Um, I, I, I could do fine with Unity, um, just not Unity 8. I thought that the concept wasn't as good, and I understand spending the time on... Um, on uh, IOT and server because Ubuntu server is significant in the field and so you know good decisions I, I have a th my own theories about about those alright so now let's go ahead and set up a printer so I made sure my printer was turned on because I don't always have them on and so we're gonna go ahead and add printer and I'm just gonna click on the network printer and then it will hunt around and look for anything and there it just found the brother printer I have hooked up it's searching for drivers. So this one I don't think has the driverless features they're looking for. Uh, but if I just follow through the recommended driver list, that seems to work. We'll hit print test page and let's see if that works. I hear the printer stirring up. I hear print jobs. So it works. Note that this line over here is because I need a new uh, a new printer cartridge. So there is how easy it is to install a printer on this. Uh, it just went right on in there. Um, nothing major out of the way. Nothing uh, nothing seriously problematic here. But I don't see any difference. Um, as a person who's used Unity and Ubuntu a lot, I don't see any difference here. You know, said so, you know, a little bit of difference with uh, how the DNS is managed. Uh, the some of the printers are now um, you know now usable externally, so all that kind of stuff is is good. But as far as everything else, um, I don't see this as a significant distro. So if you are looking to switch to Linux and you want to try out Ubuntu, and you kind of like this Unity setup and you want to give it a try. Use 16.04. It's long-term stable. They are supporting it for, uh, I don't know, I think until 2020 or 2021. I forget exactly when they're supporting it until. Um, but there's, I think it's 2021 actually, five years. So it's supported for a longer period of time. You're going to have that unity versus this. It's not significant enough. There's nothing I see in here that would cause me to be like, yeah, I need to upgrade. Maybe if you need a newer kernel, but I'm willing to bet you if you know what you're doing to the point where you know you need a different kernel, you can probably get that to work on, on a previous version. Um, however, um, this, as it is, is going to update itself into 17.10, and then that's going to go into 18.04, and you're going to lose Unity altogether and have a completely different desktop when you're done. Now, it might look the same. Uh, that's some of the theory. Are they going to... Keep, are they going to highly customize the GNOME that they talked about putting in here because they were very unclear about that? And if they do that and they, they customize it, they could very well customize the GNOME to look just like this, in which you may not even be all that aware of the changes, maybe a little bit. 
And they might do that to, to keep the Ubuntu GNOME version as a raw GNOME. Um, I think that that's a, a potential um, uh, a potential thing that they could be doing. Um, but this one, as it is, is going to go away. So if you're not uh, if you're not on 17.04 and you're looking to get into uh, into Ubuntu and you think that this looks pretty cool and you like to learn it, uh, do yourself a favor and do 16.04. I'd skip this one altogether. Um, other than that. Um, Everything else seems to run pretty much about the same. Uh, hopefully it's uh, just as stable. I'm not sure though, like I said, when I first started this up, I got a couple errors um, and up here, I, uh, I should be able to access these menus here, but I can't um, for some reason. And for those that are saying because system settings is open, no, it's not because system settings is open. It's because they're not working. I know I tried this all over the place before I started the video. Um, so. Um, there you have it. Uh, there is Ubuntu 17.04. It is finally out, um, and uh, it is underwhelming, <laughs> so, to say the least. It's not bad. It's just there's there's no reason I'd need to use it, and that's kind of that. Um, not to mention this desktop background would might be the only one I'd use, and it's kind of scary. <laughs> need better backgrounds. It's my downside. Hit the backgrounds now. All right, so uh, there is your video on Ubuntu 17.04, and I hope that this uh, quick review was uh, was helpful to you and just kind of my thoughts, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.